yeah, yeah, yeah. That girl, the Same one that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think she. Why, that. hello there. <laughs> oh, that's like the start? Yeah. Uh-huh. That, that, he yeah, does that sometimes. I do that sometimes. Oh, I didn't realize you He's were a little recording. quirky sometimes. I'm quirky. Yeah, yeah quirky. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we might as well start, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I no, should. How are, how are you, dear viewers? Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Is this supposed to be like Door of the Explorer where they're supposed to say, like, we're good? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Hola. Are you how we do things here? Hola. How dare you. Isn't that Soy my job? Dora. No, it's the other way around. Yeah. Oh, well, we have we sorry. have Morgan back on, and she's here to tell us a gruesome story Hi, for I'm October. <laughs> October month, everybody. Spooky, spooky thoughts. Month. Spooky. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so what was t- that? That was ridiculous. Yeah, okay. Come on, how, how, you can't just introduce it like that. Hi guys, it's Morgan. I'm back. I know you missed me. Um, life update. All right. All right. Anyway, I saw, enough I saw, about her. I saw uh, Kiss in concert and it was awesome. And now I feel like an ultimate baddie. Did did we? Uh, it changed my ask, life. I don't care. This is my podcast. Now. The answer is no. We did not. Alrighty, ask guys. You. So uh, I just want to make a little thing clear. We are now on all platforms. We've already, right? we've already said this, but we gotta times. say it every time. Yes. Every time. Okay. They're so on if you're Spotify. on YouTube, we're on Spotify. We're also on um, we're Apple, iTunes. Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Stitcher, <gasps> Amazon. Yeah, Google on Amazon. Oh, girl. We should be on Google, but Google doesn't feel like responding to my yeah, email address yeah. now. Because they're a bunch of little whiny babies. Yeah, Ew. so, please. I mean, wonderful, glorious people who should definitely put us on their site. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Anyway, guys, um, the link will be in the description below, so make sure you go check it out. Um, we'd love if you downloaded our podcast. It makes it easier for or you. Just, it makes it easier for us. Or just listen to it. Just listen. You'll, Maybe if we get enough listeners, it. we can start an Instagram. I can no. be your social <laughs> no. media manager. No. <laughs> See, that's probably going to clip. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. All right. Anyhow. Today, we're doing a today. serial killer case. <gasps> Which one? Un- Murder! Un- <laughs> unsolved serial killer case. Wow. Fun. Right here from our home state. Did you do research? In an hour of it, baby. <laughs> um, to because I'm, I'm the killer. In our very oh. own state of Louisiana. Uh, is now that, that, that guy? Is that, that guy that throws people into the um, river? No. It's the Axe Man of New what? Orleans. Uh, it's that. What are you talking about? Yeah, what then? are you talking about? Nothing. No, 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 no. Continue, Ben. Please. <laughs> Share with the whole class. So there... Ben was like, it, it was me. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, somebody, I don't know who, but somebody, <laughs> somebody was like killing like people and like I think it was girls or college students. Oh, you might be thinking of the Baton Rouge serial killer. But no, they in were going to like they were going to the um Ponchatoula like that bridge mm-hmm. and they were throwing people in the lake. It was yeah, like a he while was just ago. Giving them swimming lessons. No, like he put them in body bags and threw them down. Yeah. You know That's bodies you don't train. float if you puncture the lungs. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I do know that. I feel like you're lying. Anyway, today no, we're I'm doing the Axeman of New Orleans who was a serial killer active from May 1980. The fan is on! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Turn it off! Turn it off! Just All right, crisis averted, crisis. everyone. Averted. The, crap the fan me. is off. Does it make a noise? Yes. It, oh. We don't know. Audio. Okay. It might. There's a chance. It could well, have. It could have been banking this. And we there's don't want a that. chance that the previous four minutes of audio have just are been completely unusable. unlistenable. Not unusable. Well, we're going to use it. Unlistenable. <laughs> unlistenable. <laughs> we're going to use it. We're not going to get rid of those We four will minutes. submit you guys you torture. Mean inaudible? No. No. Unlistenable. You can hear it. Unlistenable. Just unlistenable. As in, you can't listen to it, but you can hear okay. it. Okay. There's a difference. There is okay. a difference. Well, he was active from <laughs> May 1918 to October 1919. Wow. Are you right, sure? Right before the Roaring Twenties. Are we sure it isn't like a longer so date and we just dates? don't know? Are you sure these dates are I'm correct? pretty sure it's till yes. present. I yes. would know. I would know. Why would you know? I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> so he kind of became like a boogeyman of New Orleans. Boogeyman. Boogeyman. Yes. His attacks left about, I think it was what six. Were his attacks? What did he do? What did he do? Six dead How and did he six kill? severely How did he injured. I'm just going to keep trying. Did he use through. a fishing rod? What, was what the, did he what, use? What was he using? Think about his name. 
I I, I forgot. I yeah, forgot. You know Did you say his is name? It a spoon? Yeah, I said Does it he is it, is it Robert Robert killing, Richard Killing Man Richard Richard, Richard the Killing Man of there New Orleans. There was actually a serial killer named Richard Ramirez. <laughs> But that's not who we're talking about. We're talking about Richard, the, the killing sh- man of New Orleans. The axe man of New Orleans. Uh, so Why he would you a name spoon? your son the axe man of New Orleans? <laughs> yeah, he's so pretentious. His name is the axe man. Again, so another, another. Does he use it? it? Five it's minutes. Five thirty. Another. It's, it's four fifty right now. PM. Jerk. Shh. Another jerk that Central named time. himself. Yeah. So, um, um, does he use a spoon? And yes, and it's unsolved. Is that a plastic spoon? To this day, yes. <gasps> so he killed she said plastic, so he only killed plastic. at night while people slept in their beds of course, of course like he killed the people while they were sleeping why not why, in the why daytime we, is that a bad time are you saying that it's not in the daytime uh he never used his own are you, weapons are you making fun of my I, choice of time? i would yeah see y'all are doing all this now but when it's 45 minutes on this podcast <laughs> ben is gonna have a heart attack and a half <laughs> he is i am and i will enjoy that thoroughly and, and it'll be hilarious <laughs> it will so, I will enjoy it thoroughly. He never used his own weapons. Every axe or weapon he like used would belong to the victim, so he found it in their house or in their sheds so outside. So everybody just had axes in their neighborhood. Do you not have axes? So so you're saying he just pillaged all of their axes and yes. then left Apparently, it Apparently, like, everybody had an axe. Why did everybody have an axe? I don't know. It was 1918. To go lumberjacking? Are you saying if you didn't have an axe you... in your shed, he'd just leave? Well, yes. It, no. No. Then what would he do? Big, what would he do? Axe. You don't know? What What's this hour of research like, going Excuse me, sir. Do you have any spare axes I can borrow? The next door neighbors I'm an don't axe have salesman. one. Can you believe that? Did he go door that? to door being, I'm an axe salesman. Would you like to buy my lovely Please, axe? Please, let no, me he see wasn't your giving axe. Them the axe. Yeah, no, but why once right, they have no. the axe, he can kill them. In big letters, the crimes. <laughs> crimes. <laughs> okay, the first attack happened on May 23rd, 1918 on Magnolia Street. The victims were Italian grocer Joseph My and Catherine Maggio. And most of these victims were Italian, so this guy was like... Racist. He's Italian. No, he was racist. <laughs> <laughs> He's Italian. And, Same thing. And racist. <laughs> okay, uh, trigger warning. But also, Some if minutes. you're listening to this trigger warning like why are you listening to it if you need a trigger warning anyways uh it's about to get real nasty up in here so just saying it gets nasty. anyways their throats were cut with a straight razor <laughs> that's not an axe and which then cord? they were repeatedly hit with an axe in the head which side of the axe which side what side do you think the head or the butt they could be the butt i'm not even gonna answer that question I think, the the so, the yeah, I think you should answer the question i think you should answer the question i think you should answer the question the head <laughs> <laughs> Could be the butt. That was head, Ben. Smart man. So continue. So no Smart, man. <laughs> Smart man. Smart man. Smart man. Catherine's throat was cut so deep that she was almost decapitated. So she was cut by the with head so deep. Yeah, with a razor. It was so a razor, not an axe. So they should call him the Razor Man of New Orleans. No, this was the only time he used a razor. <sighs> then what? Just once? You said multiple ducks. Yeah, with the axe. I'm a little confused. Me too. So the ones that found their bodies were Joseph's brothers, who were either their Who's neighbors. Joseph? Who's Joseph? Jo- the guy that died. I thought you said her name was Catherine. It's Joseph and Catherine. Both Joseph and Catherine? They're married. They were sleeping in the same bed. He went for both of them. Ew! How would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. That's nasty. They were probably premarital hand-holding. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's a shame. Everybody, this is awareness for premarital hand-holding. Make sure you do not hold hands with anyone. Your gag clipped. I know. know. It did not. Did it? it did. No, it won't. Ben, you don't know when clipping is. No. That was probably a clip. I'm sorry, listeners. No, no one heard or saw anything and nothing was taken. All that was found was the bloody axe that he took from their house. Maybe it was tomato ketchup. Sure. Heinz Could be. Heinz. Tomato ketchup. Could be mustard. <laughs> you think the blood has were just like, this ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> Dip finger. No sugar. <laughs> no sugar. Not enough tomatoes. They put sugar in ketchup. That's so weird. Yeah, they yeah, do. They put and a they ton make of it. no sugar versions. And it's yeah. probably nasty. It is. It's really nasty. Have you ever tried to like 
get it out of the can. It's like you out of the can. That's yeah, no, tomato no. sauce. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm saying like ketchup, Heinz ketchup in the can. Have you what? ever seen it? Where do you buy the can? <laughs> in bulk? <laughs> right. Let's just put a pause in this murder. Ben, have you Where? not ever gotten ketchup in bulk? No. In cans? Yes. No. No. It's how restaurants do it. They get it in bulk. Oh, you used to work at a restaurant. Yeah. That's how he would know. So they would, they would spin, and then it's got this... You have to scrape it with you a spoon spin? because there's metal shavings on it. <laughs> you mean the can opener spins? <laughs> yeah, the can opener spins, <laughs> and you twist it, and you twist it, and then it opens, and it's this huge amount of ketchup. Uh-huh. It's disgusting. You stick your hand in you there. you not like ketchup? Why would you no, stick no, your no. hand in there? No, no, no. <laughs> you stick your hand in there because you have to get the metal shavings at the bottom, right? And then you have to get the metal shavings at the top. So basically, people are sticking their hands in the bottom to get the metal shavings out the, the bottom. In the ketchup? Yeah. So there's and hands then, in and your ketchup. And basically, I don't basically think... your entire hand is full of ketchup. Mm. I don't think that's how it's supposed you to be. You don't go. think so? I think your restaurant was Every... just a little faulty in their ways. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't think there's supposed to be metal shavings after you <laughs> no, use the No, there are there. metal shavings in all of the I, cans. Something seems a little... Wrong about that. <laughs> I always had to do it, and then I had to. You always the can, had to do it, and then I had to pour it, and then it into what? Huge, and into like your hands? Them, no, into one of them. I got the ketchup. <laughs> no, there's too much ketchup, so you gotta like. Oh, you pour much. it. You pour it into like into a, a strainer. What? Yeah, no, like into like one of them like squeeze bottles. <laughs> a magnet, so you can get on the metal. Bottle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you should have done. Just no, get you a take giant a spoon. magnet. It's a spoon. You get a spoon a and you spoon? just scrape it, and then you plop it into the okay. um. <laughs> <laughs> you plop it oh into the gosh. trash can, and then after you do that, you, you pour it into like one of them spray, like them squeezy bottles, right? They're the all spray gone. bottles. They're, no. <laughs> they are gone. Like a cleaning pot. No, no, no. You get it in a squeeze bottle, and then after that, you have to squeeze it a few times to get all the rest of the metal shavings out because they're How all. How much metal shavings does this can opener make? Well, Nobody at Portobello's had an iron deficiency. <laughs> Nobody. They were all eating the ketchup that was full of iron. <laughs> but no. The None ketchup, of them were busy when they stood the up. Cans, oh. The cans are really old, so, like, there's a ton of metal shavings in them. In Porter, They're I, old cans of ketchup? Yeah. You weren't using new ketchup? Fresh? Well, no. You were we, using old was, cans of yeah, ketchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were probably around, like, four months old, maybe more. I'm about to go make myself a snack. Are y'all done? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my goodness. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just sound Tangent. so this, this southern. This just happens sometimes. I'm sorry, y'all. I said, my goodness. Honey, I'm about to make some snacks. <laughs> <laughs> so, weirdly enough. <laughs> ketchup. Anyways, back to the case. Back so, to ketchup. The bottom hey, left ketchup. panel of their door was cut out. So, like, the door looked like yours. It's a little doggle. But they don't the know bottom, what that door looks like. I Explain looked up what the crime door. photos. No, no, you said, you said it was like his door. So, uh, imagine a door. That has panels. It's got the four panels on it. All right, I'm you looking know. at about maybe what? If, if you uh, really want to know, uh-huh. just yep. look at what <laughs> crime scene photos from the time. They're really bad because it's feet. from 1918. That's a rectangle, <laughs> so you can't really see anything except anything? you can see the door with the panel cut out. You can see the door. You can it's got gold photos. trim on it. Yes. So it's not gold trim. Gold trim. That's not trim. Trim. Put anything. Your Was it like boy. a nice cut in the door? I mean, was no, it not really. He did it with an axe. Oh, they did. That's why sandpaper exists. You gotta finish it. the you job. Gotta finish it. This is not a handyman. I don't like I, this. I dude. would never and ask this guy to build a bench for me. They like, had fingerprinting at the body. time, but it wasn't part of the standard procedure. Finger painting? Fingerprinting? What's that? It's when you. Are you being fingers. serious? Okay, I was about to say Ben. <laughs> we have a problem. Ben? Do they print the? Do they print their fingers? Yeah, Ben. Like, okay, sure. Um, ben anyway. is short a few uh, chromosomes. <laughs> Actually, I'm short. Sure Monkey. M- Monkey. Alpha zones, not chromosomes. That was a stupid thing you, you've ever you, said. I want you to life. Life. just. I want you to think about what you just said. Think about what you said. I want you to process it an and then alpha. go on timeout. I want you. You're not an alpha. I want you to explain. Do not flatter yourself. You are not an alpha. I'm an alpha, so I have alpha zooms. Ben. Yeah, no. Ben. Sweetheart, no. Ben. Benjamin. Mm, no. Yeah. Anyway, continue. Ben, you probably have <laughs> freaking metal poisoning from eating the contaminated ketchup <laughs> for years. I don't eat the ketchup. You I just dipped your hands in it. it. it okay, enough about stream. the ketchup. Enough I'm about the ketchup. I'm very concerned about this ketchup. <laughs> well, we could go to therapy later and we'll get them tested <laughs> for radiation. Therapy costs money, okay? okay That's why I don't tested. go to it. Why is there a black circle around your finger? Why is there a black circle? Is that from a ring? 
Okay. It's from a ring. But it's on his wedding finger. No, it's not on my... Um, I wrote something on my hand. On your wedding finger? No, because there's more on here and here. What did you but write? it's only Thug around... Life? Well, no, I just drew like a big one right here. It's actually a seven. Why would you write seven on your knuckle? 1776. New York City. Okay, we need to... Okay. No, it's fine. We don't have to be on topic. Stay on track, Morgan. I'm trying. We have Where's that a hour time research stamp going to, to? Oh my gosh. It's going to. I've gotten through one paragraph. <laughs> it's not. It's not like we're. Uh... If you do, you guys want to get to the quirky letter or not? Yes. Because this guy Tell wrote a letter about too. The murder. He wrote a letter. Can yes. you just read the letter? They no, like, not I yet. Love letters. So June twenty eighth, nineteen eighteen. Like shut up. <laughs> You're so mean. Um, like a month later after the first attack. Uh, Louis Bessemer and Anna Lowe were attacked in their home while they were asleep again, and they were lovers. Oh, <gasps> oh my god. Free marital were hand holding. I just got so hot when I said lovers. <laughs> like Free marital hand holding. It's the mucus. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were discovered by a baker who was making his daily deliveries. Ketchup. What? This is important because at first they thought the baker attacked them. <laughs> Other than Wait, that, it's so not the important. baker like went into the house. So bakers used He's to like, like hey, make. Someone's gotta pay for this bread. They used to the make bread. the deliveries, and he probably knocked on the door, and when nobody answered, they opened. The it. murders are the yeast of our concerns. He, he opened it. Oh my lord! <laughs> I'm going to put you in a vat of ketchup <laughs> with metal shavings. With metal shavings, <laughs> stir you maybe, around. Maybe then I can catch up to your level. I'm sorry. I had oh, to muster the courage to do that ben. one. Oh. I really relish in that fact. Ben. I rise to the occasion. Oh. I don't get that awesome. What? <laughs> bread. Oh. Rises. Don't worry. I'm on bread alert. The phrase is actually high alert. <laughs> I think it's referring to red alert. <laughs> yeah. But red alert is more of like a something you call out over an intercom. You, you're not on red alert. <laughs> Anyways. I had to burst your bubble at some point, otherwise you would never stop. I was about to pull out the old axe murderer, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, Lewis was hit with doing? a small hatchet just above his right temple, and Anna was sliced over her left ear. And Lewis actually survived getting hit in the head with an axe. Which part what? of the axe? But this, it's the sharp part. Every time. It's the same. Every time. I'm just making sure you're not going to switch it up on and me. And Anna no. survived for like seven surprises. weeks before dying. But before she died, she told the police that they were attacked by a large white man with a hatchet. Mm. It, was, so, it was a Stay Puft Marshmallow It was the baker. Sure. Uh, the bottom <laughs> panel of the door was missing again. And the same thing with the axe being left behind on the scene. So he came in there with an axe and then hit them with the butt of the axe and no, then left. No, but not the, the sharp part of the axe. They hit them with the, the sharp razor, remember? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then it pulls out the, the metal shavings. Of <laughs> the ketchup. <laughs> okay. August 5th, they shaved it down 1918. <laughs> Anna Schneider was attacked in the afternoon in her Schneider. <laughs> Schneider. <laughs> so she was still this is alive. A dead man. She was still alive when they found her and rushed to uh -huh. the hospital and survived the attack. I'm about to have to say one of my least favorite words. So. Please, please, say it. Please, say it. Please, say it. Please, say it. When say she it, was attacked, it. she was about eight months pregnant. Oh, you hate pregnant people. I <laughs> no, forgot. I hate the word pregnant too. <laughs> she was. She was what? what she was. was, just, she, what was she was she? eight months along. She was. No, along please. What? Say along what? I don't understand what that word means. I have one chromosome. Please help. <laughs> What is it? What is it? <laughs> and gave birth to a girl two days after being she gave attacked. Gave birth to a what? A girl. Gave birth? Like yeah. pregnancy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, so but, she was pregnant. But I don't I need to emphasize the fact shut she up. Was I hate pregnant. So, much. so so she had children <laughs> from pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> Dear viewers, uh, we are we are not okay over here. I just want to point out. Um, I don't know what I'm about to say. I just. Oh, I farted. <laughs> he laughed so hard that a fart came. Out. Uh, oh my god, that was. So funny. I'm gonna start crying. 
I am crying. Oh, man. Anyway. Alrighty. <laughs> oh. Alrighty, continue, please. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> please, finish. Please, finish. Please. Okay. Ooh, okay, let me, let me emphasize the fact that she had a kid two days after being hit with an axe. Uh-huh. What was she okay? hit with an axe? In the head. In the head. Which head? <laughs> Her head or the baby's head? Her head. Was the pregnancy good? <laughs> what? What, what is that? <laughs> was it a good pregnancy? Did was you enjoy it? it? No, no. Have you seen all those Drake memes lately? That's like um, Drake seems like the guy who'd say, pick up a penny off the floor and say, what is it? I don't know. Keep it, lock it, put it in your pocket. <laughs> I feel like all those also apply to Ben. They do. They do. <laughs> anyway. Uh, when they investigated the scene, they found that the only thing missing was the axe from the family shed. Mm. Again, go? I don't know. <laughs> five days go? later, which is a big escalation from one month Yard. to five days in between attacks. What? Mm. Okay. He's a pirate now. <laughs> uh, eighty-year-old Joseph Romano was found by his nieces after they heard like a fight going on. Was he lost? Uh, his head was beaten with an axe by the butt. No, Benjamin. I'm so sick of You said he was beaten. Yeah, that implies that it was the blunt end. Sorry, his head was brutally mutilated by the sharp end of that. That's better. You can just say it was cut open. Yeah. Like a pickle jar. Like a pickle jar. Who cuts a pickle jar? I do. Why? You don't don't just... Yeah, you don't... You don't just whack right here with an axe. No, you don't don't just... How do you whack pickle jars? How else do you open pickle jars? I don't know. How do, how do you open With my that? bare hands, like the brute Viking woman. Please leave it in the comments. How do you open pickle jars? But the Vikings are dead. Are it's you dead. a ghost? I don't believe in ghosts. I don't either. Do you? Are they real? <laughs> okay, then I guess not. What? <laughs> what? Did you really just apply that logic to me? I did. Wow. Oh my I did. Gosh. Wow. Okay, anyways. We should talk about that on the next one. On the next one? Ghosts. Well, the next one comes out the day before Halloween. Okay. So. I'm like, saying we can include it. Literally, we'll just be like, um, ghosts don't exist. And what do you want to do? There's like science to back up ghost sightings. Well, yeah. No, like to back up why not. they like why they, they don't exist. Yes, yeah. That's what I meant to say. Anyways. Okay. Uh, yeah. So 80 year old Joseph Romano was killed with the axe. His nieces said they saw the attacker and described him as tall, dark, and heavy set. Mm. Uh, they also said he was wearing a black oh. suit with a black slouch hat, which basically just looks like a cowboy hat, but one of the sides is folded up. Oh my god. <laughs> like, pinned to the side. Mm. It's mm. really hot. Scrumptious. No, uh, which was actually mostly worn as a military uniform at the time. Fun was fact. It? So he was a soldier with an axe. We don't know. They got hit with the blunt. Uh, so Joseph Romano died two days after the attack. Mm. Around this time, newspapers were reporting that armed men were keeping watch over their families while they slept, and the police. That's a little creepy. Like, so the axemen didn't come in. Just set up a security camera. And the police were heavily investigating and putting extra police out in the field, which worked for like a little while. But seven months later. What? what are you Keep doing? Keep going. I don't... But seven months later, uh, there was another attack on you... three people this time. We... Rose, Mary, and Charles. I'm going to try and say this right. Cortimiglia? I think what? I said that right. What That's is... their last name. Cortimiglia. Cortimig... Cort... Can I try? Cortimig... Cortim... Well, it's not really trying if I've already said it. Cortimiglia. I'm going to just say mig. Cortamiglia. Uh, Rose woke up to the sound of Charles fighting with the axe man, which obviously didn't go well for him because he was attacked. And then he attacked their two-year-old daughter, Mary, which is really... Keep going. Messed up. You're fine. Keep going. What are, why are you stopping? Because I didn't know if I could say the F word on here. <laughs> <laughs> fun. Yeah. Fun. It's really funned up. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then Rose was attacked as well. Rose and Charles ended up surviving, but uh, Mary did not. And I actually read a report that said they, when they found him, the mom was, like, bleeding from the head, obviously, because she'd been hit in the head with an axe. But she was just holding her dead kid. Which sounds horrifying and really sad at the same time. Yeah. 
That does sound sad. It was a real downer. Um, That's anyway. A, that just killed the mood. All right. It's the letter time. Are you ready? There was a mood? There was a, there was a funny mood. Now it's a sad mood. That doesn't... What? <laughs> what? An axe that was used to attack them... Say it with me, everybody. Belong to the victims. Yay. <gasps> what? I know. Crazy. I didn't they know They had that. an axe? Mm-hmm. I didn't know. Crazy. So five days later... That's a new did they Orleans... die by the axe? Blunt side? Uh, the, the baby did. did the die... parents didn't. Blunt side? Blunt side of the axe? No. Blunt side? You said, you said yes. The New Orleans newspaper called the Times Picayune, I think I said that right, uh, received a letter from the Axe Man because these assholes love writing letters for some oh, reason. Love letters. Just yeah. like the last one. Uh, they must have a lot of time on their hands. I really have time to write a text message because, like, damn, like a whole letter. I had to write a letter for my sister's confirmation the other day and. It took me three days to find the time <laughs> to write a letter and I wrote like five sentences. And I felt so bad. I mean, what's the right? Felt. What? How do you write? Well, I'm her write? sponsor, so I have to like say nice things about how I'm proud of her. Are you? Are you? I am, but we had Are just gotten sure? in a huge fight up right before, so I was like really mad, and I could not write anything. <laughs> it took me like an hour to write that. Where is the letter? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Hot as hell. March 13th. <laughs> what? Hot as hell. March 13th, 1919. Ooh, can I read it? Is that like the can intro? Read it? Can I read it? No. No. Why not? Because you can't read. I'm good at reading. You can I, never learn how to read. I can do the funny voices. No, no, but I want to. I want to do like a esteemed mortal. I want to do like a like a pirate. No. 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 Right. They have never caught me, and they never will. How would you do a pirate? <laughs> Yarg. <laughs> they have never seen me, for I am invisible, even as the ether that surrounds your earth. Ether. Ether. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a human being, but a spirit and a demon from the hottest hell. Spirit. Demon. I am what, you're, what you Orleanians and foolish police call the Axe Man. Axe Man. Man. When I see fit, I shall come and claim other victims. Fit. I claim. alone know, know whom they shall be. I shall leave no clue except my bloody axe be smeared with the blood of, the, of whom I have sent below to keep me company. Besmeared. Company. <laughs> I wish you may tell the police to be careful to not rile me. Of course, I'm a reasonable spirit. Reasonable. I take no offense at the way they have conducted their investigations in the past. In fact, they have been so utterly stupid as to not only amuse me, but his satanic majesty. Utterly stupid. Satanic majesty. <laughs> All the ASMR so people are going to be on here now. Yeah, I know, it's long. But tell them to beware. Let them not try to discover for what I am, for it were better that they were never born than to incur the wrath of the axe man. Wrath. I don't think there is any need of such a warning, for I feel sure the police will always dodge me as they have in the past. They are wise and know how to keep away from all harm. Wise. Harm. I'm halfway through. <laughs> Undoubted- I'm halfway through? Yeah. Undoubtedly, you Orleanians <laughs> think of me as a most horrible murderer, which I am. Oh. But I could be much worse if I wanted to. Oh. oh. Which... Okay, sure. You know that, that's actually you've got like a fifty percent no, 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 success like, rate. Like on I, th- killing I people. think that's funny because like we we see all the the serial killers who get caught, but we don't really necessarily see the ones that don't get caught. Oh my god! No! No! no. Uh-huh. Yeah. What? Did you yeah. see that thing where they where they figured out the Zodiac killer? They were like, it was Gary, <laughs> and that was it. That was all they said. Yeah. They were like, it's Gary. Fine. <laughs> anyway, come back to the letter now. If I wished, I could pay a visit to your city every night. At will, I could slay thousands of your best citizens, and the worst, for I am in close relationship with the angel of death. Now, to be exact, at 12.15 earthly time, on next Tuesday night... (laughs) Earthly time? What time zone is that? (laughs) I'm going to pass over New Orleans. In my infinite mercy, I'm going to make a little proposition to you people, so here it is. If you put goat's blood over your door, I will spare you. Are you ready? Are you ready? (laughs) What is it? I am very fond of jazz music. (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) And I swear by all the devils in the nether regions, which sounds... Nether regions. Implies other things. Oh yeah, they're... The devils? The nether yeah, regions. That every person shall be spared. In who's a home a jazz band is in full swing at the time I have this mission. <laughs> if everyone has a jazz band going well, then so much better for you people. 
One thing is certain, and that is some of your people who do not jazz it on that specific <laughs> Tuesday night, if there be any, will get the axe. Well, as I am cold and crave the warmth of my native Tartarus. <laughs> what? You don't know what Tartarus is? Yeah, I know what it it's is. It's the Greek hell. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. okay. And that. it is about time I leave your earthly home. I will cease my discourse, hoping that thou wilt publish thou this. <laughs> thou wilt publish this, <laughs> that it may go well with thee. That's why did he start writing like this? All this? I have been, am, and will be the worst spirit that ever existed in fact or realm of fantasy. That's his fancy. Uh, it's a typo. <laughs> Ooh, you typed it wrong. Then. No, it's a typo from the website. How do you know? Did you copy and paste? How do you know it's never? Because I read two, three different sources and so two of why them did said you, fantasy. Why did you copy? Because this one? was the only one with the full transcript. Really? Yeah. Interesting. The other ones only had excerpts. Huh. And this letter led to the creation of a new jazz song called Don't Scare Me Papa. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. The Mysterious Axeman's Jazz. Don't oh. scare me papa. Yep. So on March 19th, 1919, the night that he was going to fly over New Orleans. In earthly time. In earthly time. Earthly, earthly time. time. <laughs> Not to be mistaken with Mars time. Of course. Of course. Uh, of course. Of course. Jazz course. clubs were filled with people who wanted to avoid getting the axe. Mm. And nobody was killed that night. This is just all some big pyramid scheme to get people to like jazz music. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> on August 10th, 1919, so that fall, a man named Steve Boca was attacked and severely injured in his home. And he survived because somehow he managed to crawl to the fr- to his friend's house who called the police. Which is insane. Did he crawl yeah. through the hole in his door? Did he get beaten with the um, no. blunt axe? His memory of the attack pretty much went to shit after that. <laughs> <laughs> which would make sense because he was beaten the head with an axe. Um, but he did report that he... When he woke up, he saw a man next to his bed holding an axe. Which is sounds like every horror movie. Ever. Spooky. 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 Okay, September 3rd, 1919. The next month. Are we going to go through each day? He's yes. There was there was only like eight attacks. No, no, no. Like I'm saying like he's. you said he was from 1818 to 1819. Wait, 1918 to 1919. Wait, this isn't the 18. Nin- no, no, no. 1918 19 to 1919. And so that means he was active from that time period, which means there's, <gasps> Ew. which what? means that the I'm attacks just my throat. were from, go on. Over that course of that year, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't math. <laughs> we try to go with there. Nineteen-year-old no, Sarah no Lauman was attacked by someone who came into the house through an open window. Why would they leave it open? Uh, I don't know. Maybe was it was it, hot. Were they cooling a pie off? In the windowsill? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Maybe he was attracted to the scent of the pie. When she came to, she couldn't remember details of the attack, and she just arrived. So there's not a lot of information about this one, because she couldn't remember Boring. anything. Boring. Boring. Uh, two months later, on October 27th, 1919, is the last attack. Why did he wait till Halloween? What? I don't know. Idiot. Esther and Mike... <laughs> Loser! Esther and Mike Pepitone were attacked in their home. Pepitone. Pepitone. Esther woke up because she heard her husband screaming. Of course she did. Esther never Guess how many times he was oh, hit in nerd. the head with an axe? 11. 12. 18. Oh. <laughs> 67. And he died two hours later. It took him two hours to die. Where is he hitting these people in the head? Is it with like the just, blunt side? Just like, like yeah, just all over. With the blunt side. No, like, can you stop with this <laughs> bit? It's not funny anymore. <laughs> Are they like deep cuts? How blunt I don't know. are the cuts? This is from 1919, so they didn't have like a lot of records. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. If someone were still alive, you may to tell you how deep these cuts were. When you say I wish burn, maybe the person that made the cuts. Burn. Why are you singing? Because that's Fats Domino. He's from New Orleans, I'm Who? pretty sure. Yeah, but why are you singing Jazz. Fats Domino? Because you said Ain't That a Shame. That's the name of the song, is Ain't I That a Shame. I, I know what that song is. Okay, well, then don't question me. Okay. Esther reported that she saw two figures. Dos. But she couldn't identify them. Chris. Because they fled the scene. Apparently, one of the weapons was a bolt with a heavy nut on the end. A bolt? Like a... Like a screw? Like a cereal bowl? 
A bolt. Bull. Okay. Uh, <laughs> something like this would have been used to secure a circus tent. So I'm assuming it was, like, pretty big. But uh, there was also a circus nearby that weekend. So That's where they got it from! Good job. You finally put something together. I did. You did. I did. And, uh, and then that was the last attack in the Axeman's killing spree. Oh. Uh, hmm. I can keep going. Time for the theories. <gasps> there the are theories. three. Oh my gosh. How many of them are correct? Three theories? The only three out of... Like, this is a famous story, isn't it? Shouldn't there be like... There's three main theories. Okay, I was about to say, shouldn't there be like 1,500? So the first one is that not all of them were the Axeman, and some of them were copycats. Some of them were demons. Nah, doubtful. Um, Something that Mike Pepitone's murder, the last one, was connected to the Mafia because his dad killed somebody in the past. Oh. Which I don't know how that has to do with the Mafia, but that was all that I could find was his dad killed somebody, so the Mafia was after him. Of course, maybe he was a... Mafia killed, killed, killed a people mafia with axes. Man. I guess. Uh, the second attack that is not to believe is that is believed to not be the axe man is that of Louis Bessemer and Anna Lowe, the lovers. <gasps> and they were lovers. Uh, Bessemer was actually charged with her murder because the police found out that he had written letters back and forth in Yiddish and Russian, and they came to the conclusion that he was part of a German spy ring. Oh, what? <laughs> Before she died, Anna blamed Louis and said that he was a Nazi spy. <laughs> So she's a narc. Yeah. Basically. And there was also a theory that uh, this attack was the result of a domestic dispute between them. And domestic that... bis- 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 dispute. Dispute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cry about it. Domestic dispute between them, and it ended with him attacking her. Uh, but Lewis ended up being acquitted because there was factors that suggested that it was the axe man that did it because it happened at home. Man. At, and at night while they were sleeping with an axe, which is like... All circumstantial evidence, but they didn't have DNA at the time, so that's what they could do. They didn't have DNA at the time. Man, next time I go to trial, I'll just blame it on the axe man. Did you really just say that to my face? I did just do it. I hate you. Next time I get put on trial, I'll I'll just say it was the axe man. Also, how did he attack himself with an axe? Because he was attacked too. He was like, I have to blame it on the axe man. (laughs) Swung it at himself. As one does. Okay. He might have hit himself with the blunt side. Theory two. He was a supernatural figure that could shrink himself down. No. <laughs> what? No. Through tiny spaces like no. the panel of a door. No. And then what? grow to become the giant the man elf. that the victim saw. No. That's the whole theory. That's it. No. <laughs> what? No. That's one of the main ones? Yep. No. That's it. He's little shape-shifting elf. Because I have a theory. Yeah, basically from hell. I have a theory. It's that theory mixed with the fact that um, whenever the fact, the fact, the fact fact that whenever he hears jazz music, he can't use his powers anymore, and that's why it doesn't work. Boom. The third theory, and the most extensive one, and the one that I think is most compelling, is the theory with Joseph Mumphrey. So in, say like that? Because I felt like it. Right. So in the last attack, Man yourself. in the last attack, the one with Mike Pepitone, the mafia guy, Pepitone, Pepitone. Uh, Esther survived the attack, but Mike did not. Of course Mike didn't. So she moved to Los Angeles. What? Los Angeles. Los, Los Angeles. Why did why, 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 you say all Los Angeles? Because people say it like that. Do they? Yeah. Says, I've never heard somebody say that. You've never heard people say I've Los Angeles? I don't think so. Oh. I think he just made that up. I did I think not. You did. You did. I you think did. You did. I think you did. She moved to Los Angeles. I lost my place. And remarried a man named Angelo Albano. Of course his name was Angelo. Mike deserved better. <laughs> <laughs> Poor That's Esther. Funny. You know what I mean? You think one of our friends listens to this podcast? No. no. <laughs> if you do, hi. Insert name of friend. <laughs> On the second anniversary of Mike's death have, have in fun. 1921, her current husband disappeared and was never seen again. So two years after her first husband died, her second one disappeared. It's her. Wait. Oh, is there a third Before one? they were married, no. Her second husband, Angelo, had ended relations with a man who had many aliases, and one of them was Joseph Mumphrey, so that's the one they use. Uh... December 5th, 1921, after the disappearance of Angelo, Mumphrey went to Esther's home in Los Angeles and demanded $500 in her jewelry. I had a lot of macaroons. It was back then. <laughs> macaroons, I hate A lot you. of macaroons. Um, a bunch of doubloons. Threatening that if she, didn't give, if she didn't give it to him, he would kill her the same way he killed her husband. 
Which was? That, no, that's what he said. He said, I'm going to kill you the same way I killed your husband. Which you was? Imagine? The axe man. Uh, oh, it was the axe man. That's why they think. Probably so, with the butt of the axe. And in response to this threat, uh, she shot his ass. <laughs> and killed him. As one does. As one does? <laughs> with a revolver. It is a nice target. Because she's a girl boss. Oh. Mm. Uh, when she was arrested for doing so, she claimed that he was the axe man and had seen him run from her bedroom that night when her husband was attacked. She got arrested for self-defense? Uh, well, she so was the acquitted. Way self- no, no, no. So the way self-defense works is if they actually, like... But she was acquitted. Attack you. First, they have to attack you. You can only use mm-hmm. equal amount of force comparatively. Well, he threatened to kill her. He threatened to kill her, but he technically... He only he threatened to kill her, and she pulled out a gun. What was that? That was probably on a computer. Anyway, I don't know what that was? Uh, <laughs> that was kind of scary. I have a, I have a demonic oh, whoa, computer. Freaky. I have a demonic computer. The axe regardless, man is the computer. Who's the X-Men? So you're saying that she pulled a gun and shot him? Yeah. So he threatened to kill her, but um, the fact remains that she pulled out a gun on him. Yeah, but how would she know? But how would he know that? And her even her husband if, died. So, How would he know well, that? Well, no, no. See, that's the thing. Exactly. Well, see, that's the thing. You that's no a proof. different. That's a different matter from the fact that she got self defense and arrested for it. The reason she got arrested for it was because she defen- shot somebody. The se- yes, the self defense. <laughs> Owen was saying, "Why did she get arrested? She got arrested because she <laughs> shot I somebody." Asked for an hour long lecture about the I'm law. I'm going to lecture you about the law. No. <laughs> uh, but she was acquitted, so it doesn't matter. The LAPD noticed Next that podcast, there was sufficient the evidence law. to link Mumphrey to the death of <laughs> Esther first husband mike but there wasn't enough to like to, like officially say that he was the axe man but some things are uh police found out he led a blackmailing gang in new orleans that preyed Funky. on italians and almost all of the axe man's victims were italians of course they were uh, i said that at the top. coming after you ben I'm I'm in danger. Are you, you Italian? I'm Italian. You didn't know that? No. I'm like fifty percent Italian. Are you Italian? No. <laughs> no, you're French. Yes. I'm like I'm, French. I'm like fifty percent Italian. Really? From my who? last From name your is dad, huh? my last name is Messina. Yeah, it's your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a city I in Italy. Say, I was about to say there's no way it's your mom. <laughs> no. No way. No. Well, you don't look Italian. That hurts. You look like your mom. <laughs> That's my heritage. <laughs> Sorry. Have you met another friend of ours who is Italian? She's I literally, Italian. She doesn't look. I have like twenty five. She gets Italian. wheels of cheese for Christmas. I have like twenty five. The friend that was just mentioned. She gets wheels of cheese. She has. That's amazing. Uh-huh. You don't get wheels of cheese for Christmas. <laughs> is that not something I'll get? Like I'm actually being serious. Y'all don't get that. Dude, like y'all don't get cheese really, for Christmas. He's not joking. He's just trying to flex on his Italian hair. No, no, no. Like I'm actually serious. Y'all don't get cheese for like Christmas or anything like that. No. <laughs> no. Well, guess what? You don't cook pigs open in front of an open fire, hung up on chains, and splayed down the middle, do you? No, no that's no, a Cajun thing, uh, baby. Yeah. So back off. Hey, I kill hey. people for fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's an American thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the wall instead. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph was also in and out of prison for the past ten years, but his time outside of prison matched up with the Axe Man attacks. Mm. So he was out of prison for all of the attacks. Mm. He could have cut out the panel on the door in order to unlock it from the inside. Because if you look at pictures of the scenes, the panel cut out is the closest to the doorknob. So he could have just done that and then like reached his hand under and... You know, which kind of rules out the theory. Nah, he's shrinking. (laughs) He's shrinking himself. What you mean? Stupid. Anyway, uh, but the reason he cut the panel out was because the the wood is thinner where the panels are, so it's quieter to cut it out instead of just like maybe he just like chopping down the door. Maybe he just like the shape. Maybe he just wanted to install a doggy door so some nice puppy friends could come. Okay, but how did he cut it out if he only had an axe? You're saying it was rough because of the axe, right? Because the panel out of the door was like he probably like put the blade on it and pushed it in. Okay, and pushed it into the door. That's still loud. But it's not as loud as like splintering the wood by throwing an axe at it. I'm a I'm a light sleeper. If anybody pushed an axe on my door, I think I would hear it. It doesn't matter. You're dead by the time you wake up. So no, by the time I wake up, I'm gonna run, like my Italian ancestors have taught me. 
They've taught <coughs> taught you to run. They taught me to run. Okay. Um. Even though so, running is my there's specialty. Not, there's not enough evidence. You quit cross country. <laughs> there's not enough evidence to directly link him to the crimes. <coughs> it's all circumstantial. And even uh, though Girl Boss Esther said that she saw him, sometimes eyewitnesses can be wrong. And if there's anything my cousin Vinny has taught us, <laughs> it's that eyewitnesses can be wrong. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen my very cousin. Aggressive. Have you seen my cousin Vinny? I have. Yeah, so you know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, great movie. Please go watch it. <laughs> By the way. It's aggressive. Oh, uh, it has watch. that guy. That's a threat. In it. The threat. Um, but if you remember, she also originally said that there was two men in the bedroom on the night of the attack, and now she's just saying it's one. She don't know what she's talking so, about. And that also makes you wonder if the axe man was multiple people, which goes back he to the first theory. He just shifted into two people. Which goes back to the first theory that it like was that. copycats. I don't think it's that. That's all I have. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it's that. I think it's going to be theory three. That's probably the most compelling. Play right now, it was me. You can shrink? Yeah. You didn't, you've never seen me do that? No, I haven't. No, not at all. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. Yes. Um. So, what? what uh, I don't know what I was going to go with this. Uh, I don't either. I don't know. Uh, this one's gonna be I guess what edit. we learned was uh, axe people are going to be people. axe people. Yes. Always hit them with the blunt side of your axe and make sure you're safe out there, kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to... Make sure to lock up your axes. Yeah, no, this, this is going to be fading <coughs> This is going to be a, a fun thing Lock to your edit. windows. Yeah. I'm going to have to, like... Put, I'm going to help you. I'm going to no. have to put, like, voiceovers over the names that we've said. Uh-huh. No, I know. I'm Why? Gonna get... You're, this is... Oh, this, I'm not supposed to say uh, people's no, names. No, you're not. Oh. Well, at least not our friends. Oh, my bad. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you said I'll, it all I'll, I'll get, like, I'll I'll get, I, like a text-to-speech voice you know, to, like, say it over it. It'll be, it'll be it'll fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We got this. So at this point, you've already heard it. <laughs> so, well, twice. So now you understand why I just it said, said it twice. That. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow. Um, Sorry. <clears throat> Ben's <clears throat> name is staying in, though. I'm going to uh, persecute him. Who's? Way. Ben's name. Oh, yeah. His name's in the title. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyhow. Thank you. This has all been painting out this entire time. It has? I guess. Do you want to? <laughs> okay. Do you want to? Okay. No. I, I never I have said a plan. No. no, I have a plan. What is your plan? I have a plan. What are you doing?